Chandrakant, Chandu, Nagre joins the Mumbai underworld. He gradually learns the trade and increases the gang's profits, leading to his affinity with Malik, the leader of the gang. Malik and Chandu kill their rivals from another gang. Saeed and his brother Anas in the rear seat of a car. Malik goes on a bloody rampage, killing all of his opponents to take control of the underworld. Inspector Rathor, who once tortured and abused Chandu in jail, is killed with Malik's permission. Malik and Chandu are you during the execution of a contract killing. Chandu stops the deliberate vehicle crash and falls in Malik's favor. The contract was taken out by a politician who tries to use Malik's gang to eliminate a popular candidate for the Home Minister's post the assassination. A staged vehicle collision takes place in spite of Chandu's objection after Malik, not relying on Chandu anymore, gives direct orders. The rift between Chandu and Malik widens. The Joint Commissioner of Mumbai Police, Virapalli Srinivasan, uses the rift to bring the mafia under control. Chandu and Malik become bitter enemies. After Chandu's retaliation for the assassination of Wasi, a lieutenant and Chandu's lifelong friend, two factions of Mumbai's once powerful gang company begin a full-scale war. Malik and Chandu kill as many members of their opponents, gangs as possible. Srinivasan is criticized, but he and his men know that since many gang members are being killed, this war is making it easier for his department to dispose of Malik and Chandu. Uddharan Chene. The war results in an intense chase in Kenya, during which Malik hires assassins to kill Chandu, who is severely injured but survives. Srinivasan persuades Chandu to come back to Mumbai and fight his war with Malik by helping Thay. Police bring the mafia under control. Chandu kills the politician who ordered the contract killing. In prison, Chandu and Malik come to a truce. But Chandu never withdraws his order to Koda Singh, one of his aides, to kill Malik. At the same time, Koda kills Malik at point-blank range in Hong Kong and is immediately arrested. After the assassination, Srinivasan notifies Chandu, who is shocked at this news. Chandu then spends the rest of his life in prison after being persuaded by Srinivasan to surrender. Uddharan